Hi there. Now I'm often asked when it comes to working out the equation of a line, why I don't use y equals mx plus c. Why I tend to use this particular version for working it out. Well, I'm going to show you that this equation, in my opinion, is a lot easier, a lot quicker. OK, and what I'll do is this question here where we've got to find the equation of a line passing through a given point, A in this case with coordinates minus 3, 1, and it has a gradient of 2. And we've got to write the answer in the form AX plus BY plus C equals 0. So let's just use y equals mx plus c first of all. Now I'm assuming that you write this out fairly clearly okay when you're explaining this. So suppose you write the line first of all is of the form and that form we know is y equals mx plus c but remember m is the gradient we're given the gradient it's 2 so it's going to be 2x and then we've got plus c. And we've got to work out what c is. And to do that, we know that this point must satisfy this equation because it's a point that lies on the line. So if that's the case, we can say that when x equals minus 3, y equals 1. And if we substitute these values into the form of the equation here, we therefore have, in place of y, we've got 1 equals 2 times x, which will be 2 times minus 3, and then we've got plus c. And so, therefore, we have 1 equals 2 times minus 3, which is minus 6, and then plus c. And if we add 6 to both sides, we end up with c equaling 1 plus 6, which is 7. So, therefore, what we've got then is the equation of the line. So we've got the equation is, and if we just write it in, it's going to be y equals mx, that's 2x, plus c, so c is 7, so it's plus 7. And then that essentially is our equation, but we need to now rearrange it into this format. So I'm going to just subtract y from both sides. So if we do that, we therefore have 2x minus y plus 7, and that equals 0. OK? Now we'll do the same question again using this particular form of the straight line. Now, I don't have to work out what the constant c is. OK? I've got m, the gradient, it's 2. And x1, y1, remember, represents a point on the line. And we've got that point here. x1 is minus 3 and y1 is 1. So I'm in a position to go straight towards the equation of the line. So let's just put this down. Equation of line. OK, equation of line is. And what is it going to be? Well, it's going to be y minus y1, y1 is 1, equals m, the gradient, which is 2, multiplied with x minus x1. x1 is minus 3. So in the bracket I've got x plus 3. And if I expand the bracket out, I've got y minus 1 equals 2x plus 6. And now if I subtract y from both sides and add 1 to both sides, I end up with 2x and then minus y and then 6 plus another one is plus 7 and it equals 0. So in my opinion, this is a lot easier, a lot quicker to do than having to do this method. And that's the reason why I prefer this version. But I'll leave it up to you, okay? Both, as you can see, will work.